How's it going, everyone? Here's Glenn Curtis again for your Week 9 predictions of the NFL 2010 schedule. Quick recap of last week, I went 7-6. and six. Uh, Not bad, not good uh, for the season. I'm 62-53-2. That's a 53% success rate, which is still over half, so I still consider myself being good right now. On to this week, uh, we got all Sunday-Monday games. To start off, I'm going to take the New York Jets over the Detroit Lions by 4. Uh, I was surprised that uh, Detroit was able to beat Washington last week. Surprised that the Jets got uh, skunked in zero points last week. But I don't think Detroit has what it takes to beat the Jets. The Jets are a better team than the Redskins, I would say. So uh, should be a easy touchdown win for the Jets. After that, I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens over the Miami Dolphins by five and a half. Um, Miami is one of those half-rate teams that's surprising some teams, beating some weak teams. Uh, but Baltimore's always going to be a powerhouse team in my books so they should easily be able to uh, win by a touchdown if not more over the Dolphins. After that I'm going to take the favored New England Patriots over the Cleveland Browns by five and a half. Uh, Cleveland could surprise me on this uh, but I don't think it's likely. New England should be able to take this easily by 10-14 points. After that I'm going to take Houston to beat the spread over the San Diego Chargers. San Diego is favored by one, so basically these teams, I agree, they're rather evenly matched. I don't understand how poorly San Diego is doing, and yet they have the most passing yards in the league. Um, I guess they got a lot of defensive problems. I guess that's that's almost where you could start on that. Uh, but Houston, Houston's a well-rounded team. They should be able to rebound off of their loss from the Colts last week. After that, I'm going to take the Chicago Bears over the Buffalo Bills by three. To be honest, I think that spread should be a bit larger. I think Chicago is going to win by at least 10 or 14. Uh, Buffalo, I don't even know when they're even going to get their win this year, if they are, if they even are going to get a win. So that should be an easy win for Chicago over Buffalo. I'm going to take uh, the Minnesota Vikings over the Arizona Cardinals. They're favored by nine, uh, so it's kind of hard to pick the... Vikings to beat the spread on this because they're they're hurting and they're so disorganized. They got rid of Randy Moss. Don't know why. They had a lot of uh, attitude issues and personal issues with them, so they just threw him aside. I would I would have at least tried to get something for him. Now he's on the Titans, but I still think that the Vikings without him should be able to beat the uh, the poor Cardinals by at least ten points. After that, I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by eight and a half. Uh, Tampa might be able to keep this close. If they be able to keep this close, it'll be a two touchdown game. If they falter at all, Atlanta should easily be able to win this by 10 points. After that, I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints over the Carolina Panthers by seven. Carolina's still showing that they're a poor team. They're not improving at, at all. And New Orleans has a lot of ground to cover if they want to uh, keep a wild card spot if not try to contend for the division. And then you can take the New, England, New York Giants over the Seattle Seahawks by five and a half. Uh, Seattle might be able to keep this close. I don't see them winning or bringing it within six, but this should be an easy one touchdown game at least for the Giants. Following that, I'm going to have Indianapolis to beat the spread over the, Pits, over the Philadelphia Eagles. This is another one of those one point uh, spread games for in favor of Philly. Uh, Indy came off a big win last week over the over the Texans. I think they should be able to do it against the Eagles as well this week. Uh, KC, I'm going to take Kansas City over the Oakland Raiders. Oakland's favored by two and a half, so I have KC beating, beating the spread on this. Uh, this is a toss-up game. Uh, Oakland's looking a little bit better against half-rate teams. I'm still considering KC a playoff contender. Uh, I think they would they have a very good chance of winning the wild card, especially if they keep beating teams like Oakland. After that, the last Sunday night game, we have the Green Bay Packers over the Dallas Cowboys by eight. Uh, no Tony Romo should be able to make a huge factor. Uh, their backup isn't going to be able to survive against the Green Bay uh, D line, and Aaron Rodgers should be able to throw out, throw out a few touchdowns to win that by at least ten to fourteen points. And for our Monday night game, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Cincinnati Bengals. 
Pitt, Pittsburgh's favorite by four and a half. Uh, I like Cincinnati at the, end, at the beginning of the year. You can go and check that out in my earlier videos, but I got nothing for Cincinnati anymore, especially against uh, teams like Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh uh, is still showing that they have huge uh, presence that they're going to uh, have in the playoffs, so they should be able to win this easily by 14, if not 21 points. Okay, everyone, that's uh, my Week 9 picks. If you liked, uh, if you liked my picks, didn't like my picks, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button below me here. And if you want to see more of my videos, easy access to my older videos, don't forget to hit that subscription button up above me. Okay, I'll see you guys all next week.